Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our Virgo construction budget template. To begin with, we're going to start on our budget tab here. Under cost codes, we've added these as examples. You can change or modify these to your liking. Next, we have activities. We have categories for you as administrative express, equipment rentals, concrete foundation, structural steel erection and exterior work, interior work, finalization and inspection. You can change this to your needs as you'd like. Next, you can choose the activities, or in this case, the administrative expenses, rent, utilities, office supplies, salaries and wages, miscellaneous expenses. Again, you can change these. We've used these to get you started. This section, you would add the labor costs. This already calculates all the sum of labor costs that you add here. This one sums up the material cost that you add here. This one adds, sums up the fixed cost that you add here. So you would add the labor cost, material cost, and fixed cost. If there is no labor cost for this particular one, you can leave it blank. Again, this calculates each one. This is where you would put the budget for each one. So this you would enter it manually as well. Say my budget for this is $7,000. I would change that there, and this would sum up the budget for the for this specific one, which is administrative expenses. Then we have the actual cost, which is going to sum up whatever you've added here or the actual cost that you've put for label, material, and fixed costs. So in this case, since we've only added fixed costs, it's only going to sum up 5000 And since we've added here that our budget is 7000 our under over is going to be 2000 And then this will calculate the percentage based on the budget minus the actual cost divided by the budget again is going to give us a percentage of how much we are uh, over or under based on our budget. In this case, an example here, our budget was 1000 The material cost was 1500 which gives us over $500 of our budget with a minus 50 delta. Next, we can go on to our next category, which is vendor and subcontractors. And here you would add your vendors and your subcontractors company name. The trade they're in, you can choose from the drop down menu here. You can edit this by clicking the edit button here. Once you've clicked on the button, it will take you to this where you can modify the colors. You can change the name. You can delete or add items. Once you've done that, make sure you've Click on Done, Apply to All, and then click on X next to Data Validation Rules. Next, you would add the point of contact for the company, the phone number, the email, and you can add here the invoices and purchases associated with that company or vendor. We'll get to that, and I'll show you from the invoices purchases here. But to finish out here, let's finish with Documents. You can add the link here and any notes for the vendor or subcontractor here. Next is the invoices and purchase tab. Here we have invoices numbers. You can change this. This is predetermined for you. You can change this to your liking. So you would add the invoice number here, the subcontractor and vendor of the invoice, the cost code. Again, this is an example. You can modify this to the cost codes that you use. The date the invoice was received, the total cost of the invoice, you can add the document here, the PDS invoice, who purchased, you can modify it by clicking on the edit button here as well, change the color, add or remove names, make sure to always click on done, apply to all, and click on X next to data validation rules every time you modify. Next, you could choose from a drop down menu here if it's been paid or not. You can modify that as well by clicking the edit button. You can record here the date it was paid and any additional notes that you would like as well. And that's how you would use our Virgo construction budget template.